Hi. Hi. Welcome in. You are choosing the ingredients for dinner tonight. We have three courses. You have three choices in each course, and you're going to come up with something creative and delicious. So be careful what you put down, because you're going to have to eat it after I interpret <laughs> it. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and we have a great dinner. Pressure's on, right. guys. Awesome. You Thank you. It. Cheers. All right, guys. Got appetizer, main course, and dessert. For appetizer, we need to figure out a leafy green. Kale? Like spinach. I also like kale. Let's go kale. Kale? 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 Yeah, it's gonna be great. What do you guys think, sauce-wise? You mean vinaigrettes? Do it. So, chef's vinaigrette. choice? Vinaigrette. vinaigrette. Oh, I don't know how to spell that, guys. And then a spice. Old. <laughs> <laughs> what are spices? Cayenne. Cayenne, yeah, we go something it. spicy. Yeah. That sounds good. I can Let's do, do that. that. Main course. We've got a starch, bready things, potatoes. Red potatoes. Pastas. Red, Red potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, I'm very yeah? down with that. Okay. Let's do it. Protein could be you know, fish. About fish, some type of fish. Fish, okay. Okay, and then a vegetable. Let's go Brussels sprouts. Yes. Brussels sprouts. Ah, oh, I should have gone. I should not have. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert. We got dairy and herb and a fruit. I would have gone with something like half and half or something oh like that. Oh yeah, that or like heavy cream. Heavy cream. Yeah. Heavy Let's do that. cream. Herb is mint and herb. Yeah. I think it is. It, it is. Is, is, is that? it? Okay, we're doing it. All right. Mint and a fruit. Blueberry. I would be Blueberry totally good, good with that. Let's do it. All right. I think we got it figured out. Guys, we got ourselves a menu here. So we had a couple ingredients that we were brought up with. Uh, we're going to start off with kale, a vinaigrette, and cayenne pepper. See if the oil's hot enough to start frying. Uh, sure. It's the worst that could happen. We're just gonna use the fennel to bring a nice little anise crunch. Fennel and kale play nicely together. We do a salad with radish and fennel and kale at the restaurant that I'm uh, particularly fond of. The simplicity of it. My kid is most like blank person. The, the first kid is most like saint someone. Yeah, fabulous. <laughs> So chill. The second kid is like not Saint someone. The opposite of that. Saint Would you say nemesis. the first one is more like you or Brittany? Well, now that I've set it up that way. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna build the fish dish. So next we got uh, red potatoes, fish, and Brussels sprouts. Brussels are a natural pairing with bacon, amongst other things. With the potatoes, we're gonna puree them with some gua sha jing, little roast ginger and shallot in there. Put a kake. It's a Japanese spice blend. We mix it with some crispy quinoa, a little sesame seed and some nori. Give a little texture on top. Spoons are magical. It's probably one of my favorite instruments in the kitchen. Simplest thing, a little spoon. The thing I wish someone told me about having a kid is. I wasn't aware of how much of a personality they would have. They're a person with thoughts and feelings and their own opinions, no matter how small they are. One thing is, um, did you know there's such thing as being too tired? So putting them to bed, you have, they have to be tired, mm -hmm. but not ah, too tired. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I think it's gonna be different for every person what advice you need to hear that no one has said to you yet. Mm -hmm. You just need to slow down and just take it as it happens. Don't try to win yeah. while they're two. What else do we need for the salad? I'm thinking. Plugging in the KitchenAid, step one. Start off low, because I've been known to just Make a giant mess. I'm really good at it though. So, I don't wanna brag too much. I'm good at making a mess. Dessert, we're gonna make a blueberry tart, almond granola, little lemon situation. I'm not a fan of overly sweet desserts. I like a, kind of a refreshing end to a meal. I would always choose cheese over, over chocolate. It's the, it's the natural way. I'm just gonna answer before you guys can know this and you guys have to guess the question. 
behind the couch for at least three weeks a piece of asparagus. Like the grossest thing that they ever ate? That's the one! Ah. <laughs> you got it! It was completely black, 100% oh, terrible. My mom asked him, why are you eating that? He said, I saved it. <laughs> That's not how you say it. Stop. All right, guys. So. Thank you. Your kale, vinaigrette, and cayenne challenge has turned into a tostada. So just a fresh little appetizer. So I took the uh, cayenne with cumin, coriander, uh, a little salt, we made some tostadas, the corn tortillas on the bottom. You have a simple kale salad on top that was massaged with the red wine vinaigrette. Then you have some glazed radish and fennel with some goat's milk feta on top of that. Yeah. Enjoy it. I didn't expect the tostada to play into the flavor as right. much as it does. Yeah. I love it when food has so much color. Like, yeah. I mean, how could you not like the taste of this? It's beautiful. Right? It's so lovely. Well, I think you said massaged with vinaigrette. I don't think I've ever massaged a food before. <laughs> well, apparently we need to start. Yeah, <laughs> so you said Brussels sprouts, fish, and red potatoes. So in fact, we made red potatoes. So the gochujang, which is a fermented chili paste from Korea, with a little ginger and shallot in, into the potatoes. Over that are the Brussels sprouts that have been sauteed with some bacon. Easy, I'm just, Easy. I'm It's slow, man. Easy. Uh, we uh, roasted the cod. Uh, just a quick sear on the cod. Uh, really quick beurre blanc. And then there's some crunchy uh, quinoa and nori on top with furikake spices. Enjoy. Thank you. Right. What did you start with? Some fish and potatoes, and that was amazing. But impor most importantly, the Brussels sprout. Uh, they're perfect. I struggle, man. I know I'm not alone. No, Brussels I mean, sprouts maybe are I'm magical. Alone at this table, Barry. Brian has not yet led me astray. But I'm incredibly impressed with what he was able to do with this. Hope you saved room. Save the best for last. But you gave me blueberries, uh, cream, and mint. Okay. So, a little puff pastry. I made some blueberry jam to go in there. There's a mint cream a quick kind of faux lemon curd, and then almond granola. Enjoy it. Enjoy yeah, it. You guys are great. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. I would have not thought about lemon with blueberry, but it really works really well. When it's not too sweet. Mm -mm. I think this is the first time in my life that I've had a tart that wasn't a pop variety. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this this is some of the best food I've ever had. But also the conversation. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just cool just to talk. Yeah. yeah. We don't get very many opportunities to sit down and talk about one thing for this period of time. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was it was a ton of fun. It's great. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's That's why I do this for a living. You know, I mean, everything's kind of on the fly. As much as you plan and uh, prepare for anything that's going to happen, there's always um, a little fire to put out. As long as you have a little bit of uh, know-how and ingenuity, you can kind of MacGyver your way out of most situations. <laughs>